One more global first is all I could really ask for. We haven't gotten a global first in terms of an actual new unit in almost four years. But in terms of EZAs, we get that about once a year. And we are confirmed to get that one more time before the games sync up, um, you know, early or sometime during the summer, which of course for me is very, I just love global first events. I like getting things before JP. Even if it's for a week, I get like you know, three days, for who, like four days, who cares, right? But it's just a cool thing. I think it's hype. I, it is what it is, right? Before we discuss anything, though, yesterday I caught a lot of people lacking when it comes to this banner. And, you know, I get it, right? The temptation to summon. So today's checkpoint, today's lacking checkpoint, if you will, is a little bit different, okay? If you summoned on this banner and you pulled the androids or God Goku first multi you have reached this checkpoint today and you have failed okay unfortunately there's people out there who don't get lucky like that and and apparently you're trying to say that you're him that you, you are himothy or if you're a girl that you are herothy i don't i don't know the female equivalent but you get what i'm trying to say like like like, like share the luck dude come on so you got caught lacking today you gotta subscribe to the channel. I mean, it, it, again, it's one of those things where it is what it is. Share some luck for some other people, okay? But if you summoned and you didn't get in first multi, then you're good to go. I understand the pain. Um, don't worry. We 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 caught the those who got a little too lucky right-handed today, so you don't have to worry about that. I'll see you in the next video, or I'll catch you lack in the next video. Stay tuned for that. Let, let's move on with the video. So, global first we know um, is happening at least one more time this year. Now, when I say one more time, that doesn't necessarily mean only one more specific character or event. Like in 2021, we had three specific EZAs. So that's three specific units. Um, but in 2022 and 2023, we only had one uh, more you know thing here. Now, I will say, it does say, uh, the first, we are preparing in-game events, plural, that will be held in the international version first. Now, especially when it comes to Dragon Ball Legends, there's always shenanigans with the pluralization of certain words. So, for example, if you play Legends, you know that the reveals and stuff, or whenever they announce, like, a new LF character on Legends, it sounds like multiple characters are coming when it's only just one. So, this could easily be something like that, um, just to leave, you know, room for... A possibility, of course, um, but it does sound like at least we're getting multiple things this year. I don't think it's going to be a completely new unit because I will definitely throw off the schedule too much. The last time we got that was back in, you know, 2021 uh, with God Goku, of course. So, oh, sorry, S-T-R-U-I Goku. I say God Goku because his SSR art is right there. Um, so the question is, what could we potentially get this year? right that would be global first and i'll extend the question to you what do you personally want to see as the global first i'll give you a few of my options and picks right here and i'll keep this to easy a's but if you want to see like a completely let's say you let's say global can get a free-to-play lr uh, you know that's definitely possible because that's, that's technically an event it is a new character through an event right so it doesn't really have to be a summonable character but it could be like a new prime battle or you know a new free-to-play character that we get from Maybe the story mode, literally anything. Let me know what you want to see. Me personally, I want to see an EZA for a global first LR, Tech Broly. Uh, this guy did release on global first in the month of May in 2019. Actually, month, sorry, May, not month, May was stacked. The month of May was stacked in 2019 because we got back to back global first in the Tech um, Broly as well as the Tech Gobros. So, Gobros getting in, did Gobros get an EZA in global first? I don't really remember but i would love if tech broly got an easy a first on the global that would be so hype for me you know like i don't i don't upload showcases on my channel but you can you know what i'm saying so if z broly gets some love we'll definitely show some love back i mean look at the profile picture if you have any questions bro come on now um so that's the first thing i'd love the second thing um or i guess another pair of characters i would really love to see easy ace for are these two um i used to love running these two these, these are more like nostalgia picks for me i used to run these two a lot back in like the og days of the legendary goku event and how op uh, you know, he could have gotten in there. I think an easy A for these two would be really sick. Two other picks I have would be Super Cow King Goku as well as the STR Pycon. Again, just more nostalgia picks for me. And if we don't get these two or these two, kind of playing with the theme of 2021 with the Great Apes, I would love to see 
uh, global first easy A's for these five. I think these five getting easy A's could be extreme, especially if they're made good, could be extremely beneficial and make even Tech Bardock like a lot. Like Tech Bardock is one of those characters that released. Let me go to Storied Figures. Tech Bardock is one of those characters. Again, he's a good Dokkan Festival character. It's just, you know, he's not. I think with these characters getting easy A's, if all of them have like a specific, like let's say one of them gave damage reduction support or a lot of defensive support, they could make it so that these easy A's really bring back Tech Bardock and make him look a lot better because they can target Tech Bardock, right? You know, when there's a tar um, when there's a Bardock ally on the team, all allies get 10% damage reduction, um, which of course is broken. But I think storied figures needs it more than movie uh, super super bosses or whatever the the new category is called with with you know broly uh, lr broly t Lai lemo giving 10 percent damage reduction so a team like this can definitely use something like that a lot more than super bosses which of course that category still needs more support but sword figures is not a category people are genuinely running obviously uh so again making these characters really impactful giving each of them a very specific role like one could be a massive nuker one could be a really insane offensive support one could be an insane defensive support one could just be an insanely good defensive character one could just be like a, a orb changer like something that they all share um or something that they all do independently that make the entire team work very, very well. And that can make Tech Bardock become a lot more useful, which of course would be really, really, really cool to see. Let me know what you think. These are just my personal picks in terms of easy A's for global first characters, but we can also get global first, you know, again, prime battle event. You know how Broly and Trunks is an LR. We can also get something like that, uh, like, like a, you know, global first free to play character through the story mode or something again it could literally be anything so let me know what you want to see but we are guaranteed to get at least one more global first which of course is extremely hype let me know what you think i'll see you in the next one take care and peace